Hello, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. Thank you for coming by. Today has been a while. I've been painting all week and I am very happy to be here again to talk to you guys. Thank you to all my new subscribers. It just shows that there is so much um, trepidation, maybe some fear and anxiety. We don't know what's going to happen. Everybody's nervous. I shouldn't say everybody, but many people are nervous and looking for answers. And this channel is, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you as much as I can. You know, I'm going to tell you what I see. I get visions, images, some of which have to do with food. Some of them are other things, but I try to decipher them as accurately as possible. So if you're here new, that's what I do. And uh, it's all an experiment is factored in. I also realized I had a client last week and I realized I... I've said, you know, I'm a minor league astrologer, kind of farm team-ish. And I also am a hypnotherapist and uh, an intuitive. I'm a life coach and I also read tarot cards, right? But I also find that I channel. I do more channeling and I get into energy. So when it comes to predicting, sometimes it's it's more about what I see from the energy of that person. And those energies change day to day, depending on free will. I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying that's what's going on. So um, I find I get a lot of information if I go into somebody's energy and I see it from their viewpoint and I can see what the situation is because I've gone like into Trump's and, um, you know, Musk's and different things to see and many people. Um, yeah. So I think that was all I was going to say. Um, we have to find balance in these times of uncertainty. Um, this is a place, um, if you are interested in, if you're a MAGA person and you want to talk rationally and if you want to give us, you know, have a conversation, yay. But if you want to just, you know, say hateful things and be derogatory, I'll remove you. There's no point, right? But... I'm a belief, I'm of a belief that Americans will unite once again. I don't know when that will be. I have seen that many, many times. Right now, we're in the middle of this divisive world. And it is a world. It's not just the United States because it's 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 kind of infiltrating all over the world in Europe and in Canada where I spend half the year. So um, we have to balance being vigilant and paying attention, but not, but also not getting sucked into any of the doomsday drama, which advertisers love to, even on news channels, they love to get you engaged with fear. So that way they can sell advertisement, these channels. And that's just the way it is. So it goes both ways. All, all, uh, you know, all parties do that. So anyway, I think that was it. Um, Oh yeah, onion. The onion bought Infowars from, uh, you know, Alex uh, Jones had to pay all those money, uh, pay that money, so we went bankrupt. So they got a good deal, I guess. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with it. Their satirical website, but you know, I've had a lot of comments. People, sure, there's fraud. In uh, a couple of videos ago, the ones I did last weekend, there is fraud. There was fraud. There is some sort of um, um, mishandling. Of ballots in places and I 98 99 percent of all the states have paper ballots so there is re, there is a ability to count now some people would say the, uh, the some of those paper ballots disappeared in trucks or something like that I didn't see mass fraud what I did see though is the um, information wars online geared to all these young men using a Russian um, bots, Russian um, media, sneaky attacks, and Musk somehow channeling that for, you know, the Republicans or Trump. He helped it. So I did see that. So it's, it perverted the truth for people who saw Trump as the answer to something. And and those are the young men that will lose their jobs or in a, maybe in a job that doesn't need a high level of education, not that they're stupid or anything, but their particular job pays decent, not great, but decent. Those are the companies that are going to lay off. And those are the people who are going to feel the pain. These um, 
Trump voters are are, are going to have to, you know, see the reality of what their vote did. And that's just what is going to have to happen. I don't want to in, uh, say this is going to feel good to see them suffer. But I do want to say that this some people don't learn unless they feel the pain. They can't critically think that far ahead. And that goes back to our educational system. And frustrating me to no end because civic seems to be gone the way of the dodo bird and we uh, if people understood how our government works they paid more attention not all of them but some anyway and then wanting to get rid of the whole department of public education to dumb down the um, electorate even more than it is now and only hear things that they want us to hear and then they're going to save us from all the bad things that will happen. It's so oligarchy and so dictatory. And we're going to be kind and and quiet here. And I'll read some cards. I'm also going to channel and see what I, I get. But for today, I'm going to look into the ballots to see if there's any big shift, if we're going to hear anything. Um, I, I'll channel into Biden. I'm going to get into his energy. I'm going to get into Kamala and into Tim Walls. And actually into the intelligence community as well to see what they know. I'll do my best. And, oh, ghosts. Maybe there's some ghosts from the past that we're not aware of. Oh, yeah, look at this. See all the um, grave, grave markers? So that reminds me of the military uh, graves, you know, Arlington, of the unknown soldiers. Hmm, I wonder if there's our past... Veterans and military are helping get us get through this or they're guiding our leaders at this time because I know the military is going to have some really big questions or big uh, heart-to-hearts they're going to have to ask each other because of the politicization of the military that Trump wants to do, which is scary. But deep breaths. We're going to get through this. Okay, let's get started. Sorry for that long beginning part um so right now i'm going to channel um biden because i feel like he is really pivotal in this moment we still have about two months before the inauguration the last video i saw that there is something's going to happen between now and then a surprise surprise something isn't quite um flowing right and i'm gonna just check into biden's energy and he feels, you know, less than vigorous, but um, he is going, oh, I feel like he's going, oh, he's listening to somebody tell him um, intelligence or some uh, multiple things about the Russians and information the intelligence community has on how they've infiltrated. I feel a sense of calm, but uh, steadfastness in him, like uh, purposeful decisions that not wild, not going to, you know, and not necessarily even anger, but more, Okay, we have to do that and that. We have to... Is it about elections? What is this about? Yes. What else do you need to tell us? What is going on, President? There's some sneaky stuff happening, he says. Um, And I'm assigning people to investigate, he says. Will it change the election? He's saying... It's possible, but it's almost like they're doing a bunch of um, not research, investigations on how far it went. How does this affect Elon Musk? Is he in conversation? So he's, Biden is seeing Putin in his mind's eye, and he's seeing Putin, and he also um, sees a bunch of other spy-like people or people that have infiltrated but I don't know these people but I see different persons that are part of this will he take that any further 
I feel like there's a separation. So Musk is here. He's showing, I mean, uh, Biden is showing me all these, um, or I'm looking at all these different possibilities of people that are involved. Uh, besides Putin, there's all these other spy type personalities that are involved. And they're known through the intelligence community. But Musk is here and he's got a separation. It's not, I don't know if they can't connect him to it. I don't see that they're connecting Musk to it directly right here, right now. doesn't mean it can't happen, but they are investigating a lot. And now I see there's a big layer here. Musk is here in, you know, him, Biden, from Biden's perspective. Um, and I almost feel like he doesn't want to believe it. He would be like, he's like, he couldn't believe that an American would do that to its own country. Like he doesn't want to believe that. Will there be, I'm going to pull this one, memory. Gosh, memory again. Um, and he's, mem he's um, remembering something about the past. Um, how I'm seeing it is, because he, he's much, you know, he's elderly, that it's not like he's remembering a time when things were beautiful and everybody was really trustworthy. It was more like he's trying to remember. A, I know this doesn't make any sense. A skill that he could use to um, do this, and I don't know if it's because his Biden's mind is a little not a, not that he's not there, but it's you know, it's hard for him to bring up some of these different things that he wants to use. Now, I see a routine. This card says routine, but I I see it as back and forth, day to day, going back and forth. And he is not giving up. He's got these people assigned to do this investigation. Um, they'll come in with the results and they'll um, give it to him. Will they... Right now, they can't tie it to Musk. They do see Musk as something. He's doing something. He channel. He's got a channel to Russia. He's talking to them. But there is a. It's kind of like what Trump does. You know, as a mob boss, they, there's a space that he doesn't. If he wants somebody to do something, he doesn't directly tell one person, and he goes, "Does it?" There's like five people between, so it can never actually get back to the person at the top who um, uh, gave the orders to do. The bad thing so it's like that i feel like musk is here and he hasn't actually they're having a hard time he's not talking to any of these bad spy people there's he's talking to somebody else and they're not able to make the connection and it's funny he doesn't like him at all i don't feel like biden likes musk at all i think he thinks he's hot shit like he thinks Musk thinks himself is hot shit and he can't not that that's a good thing to be but hot stuff I guess or his shit doesn't stink kind of thing but definitely they're working on it but I don't see it like boom like oh my god they got it figured out and it's gonna come not yet anyway I don't see that now if I go into the intelligence community just in general um which you know say it's Department of or the um, National Security Administration or Department of National Security or um, Homeland Security or FBI or CIA, whatever that is. Let's just try the CIA. That feels right. Um, it's a C. There's so many people that they are looking. It's like a C of spies. I keep using the word spies, but they're not right. It's like operatives, people that in Russia or in that world that are known to be factors in this sort of situation where they actually do um, bad things and they're very behind the scenes. So I see a C, like the CIA has people talking to them, a lot of back and forth. And they know there's cyber hacking and getting Russian information through the media to these pockets of MAGA, you know, Trump lover people or people that are on the fence and that 
they convinced him with all this false information that Trump, you know, they just, or they talk about migrants and different things that are so bad and Trump is the answer. So they all, they, they're doing that for sure. Feeding that, you know, some of these online websites or, you know, social media like Facebook supposedly put up or Instagram or TikTok or whatever. They put blocks, but they didn't really. They've gotten around it, unfortunately. We have to actually believe. So CIA. They also are working on something that, but it's more like a long-term analyzing of what Russia is doing. It isn't like specific to Virginia or Pennsylvania. Did they put stuff in a truck and they got uh, an American hooked into the Russian, you know, propaganda and he took the ballot somewhere. Um, I do feel like they have gotten, and I've seen this before, these groups of men in forests and woods somewhere where they're hanging out, where they all commiserate and they're all talking about all the bad things that are happening that Biden did and everything and that they have to put Trump in. And they they believe this, that Russian propaganda is feeding that and all these different pockets, like in Pennsylvania and I don't know, Ohio, that up that way where, you know, guys with guns, um, and just regular people like farmers and stuff, the regular people that work day to day that feel like Trump has gotten to, you know, he's the answer. And they accelerated that the Russian spy network or the propaganda machine accelerated that. And so did the right, all the channels on podcasts and things. So that's what's happened. So it's really, I think, now would have Kamala have won if, I think she would have won if Russian stayed out of it and the propaganda machine on the right hadn't created this false narrative about everything. Yes, bad things happen. Yes, migrants coming in illegally. Yes, that's happening. Transgender people, people don't like it, whatever. You know, they're not going to school and getting a trans, they're not getting surgery at school. That makes zero sense. But all of that negative media really affected. That's what got him elected. It wasn't there's some fraud here and there, but it wasn't that. It was the, the negative propaganda. En- enforced, created, perpetuated by these Russians and these right-wingers that took it, sold advertisements because they wanted to get all these people engaged. So, but if that hadn't happened, if we were just blank slate and people just learned what they learned through journalism and regular newspapers without a lot of emotion, yellow journalism, propaganda, Kamala would have won. I think she would have. I'm sorry to say that, people, but that's this is the world we live in right now. She would have won. So will the CIA find any more tangible evidence to do anything about? You know why? Because it's very vague. The propaganda, yes, but you can't get into somebody's head and say, oh, well, if Russia hadn't done this, how many votes would that have flipped? Do you know what I mean? And all these women, women, why? And all these families that are getting divorces and the men. There's a lot of women that are actually holding out sex for their husbands that because they said they voted for Trump. Or women are holding out sex from anybody they see that voted for Trump. Good for you. Night. Yeah. So right now we're in the little bit of a dark night. And I kind of look at this as the winner as well. We're in the kind of dark night, I don't want to say the dark night of our soul, but the soul of America, and it's going through a difficult time. Now, um, I do have this thought, and it gives me a little bit of solace. In the intelligence community, first Trump term, they thought he would be okay. They would supply him with all the intelligence. They would freely tell him different things, and he, and the military as well, they were more like traditional systems, institutions. Now they know that he took documents. They know that he talks to Russians in between all this. They know that the intelligence has been compromised. 
So they will limit very much, especially the military, I think, will too. Not all of them, of course, but I think they will limit how much they tell them and what they tell them. They'll just give them minimal, minimal information because they know they can't trust him and they can't trust his people. So that gives me a fraction of solace knowing we already know what he tastes like. We know how bad it is. And the Trump and his dirty, broken orange cake on the floor that is now kind of getting dirty from the grime around it. And the more of these clown car people he picks, the dirty he's going to get. It's like a circus. Can you imagine, you know, in the ring of a circus, the big top or whatever, and they have the dirt on the floor where the horses go and animals and elephants? That dirt. That's the kind of dirt he's surrounding himself with. That's the image I got. Yay. Yuck. Anyway, person gets sick if you get too much of that bacteria filled and yucky dirt around. All right, so I'm going to go into um, Kamala and Tim's energy. And I want to know if they know of a recount, especially Kamala, because she's the vice president. And um, she's very sad. And it's obvious. I mean, we all... Um, she's getting to the point now she's mad. Um she's i think she's a libra scorpio she's october 20th so she's more libra but she has a moon in aries tim walls has a sun in aries so they're feisty and a, a fire fiery um so she is at the point now where she's past the grief stage into the anger stage and uh she is not i feel like she has um uh, somebody in her sights And she's using her prosecutor hat to, like, laser focus. That's the feeling I got. Like, I, you know, if you have a sight with a little laser on it, like you see in the movies, that's what she's doing. Well, she, does she know about more fraud than I'm able to see right now? She's heard stories. She's got lots of stories. She's heard anecdotes. She's actually spoken to the intelligence people like with Biden. So she's with him when they're talking about these things. Although Biden has to be careful because of the um, effect of the, you know, trust, the American people's trust on the election. The sound was weird because I just realized I didn't have my microphone on. I was talking through the computer. Um, so let's see. Um... She's still sad, but she's determined and she's really pissed off, really pissed off. Um, she's investigating sort of behind the scenes, not just what Biden's telling her or what the intelligence community is, but she's got another group over here or somewhere around her that are looking into all of these allegations, like a whole page worth of ballots missing here, uh, truck or, you know, all these anecdotes about voting, mishandling, the numbers. Are they going to do a recount? I heard 30. I don't know, but are they going to recount in 30 states if that's even... Because I know you have to do it pretty quick. I don't know if that's accurate. I don't know what that 30 means. Maybe 30 is 30 million that she needs. Part of her is really angry. Part of her is like a little over it because she's like, oh, now I can rest a little too. So she's back and forth. Observation. She's really studying all of the details really well to make sure that she's not missing anything. And she's getting information from, like I said, multiple sources, not just the intelligence community, but all these different um, unsanctioned or... Not that they're private investigators, but people that aren't in the necessarily in the channel that government uses to investigate things like this. There are other sources. Um, okay, so I'm going to go into Tim and then I'm going to come back to will anything change after the, re the recounts or whatever this happens. So Tim, I hear him being 
like it's like a mix of sad and laughing at the same time like he's laughing but you could tell underneath like a not like a clown but underneath he's sadly or sad about how it went but he is happy to be with his family more he's exhausted too or he was he's very disappointed and sad um tim what do you want us to know he's like you have to stay vigilant. He's saying we have to keep fighting. Um, this isn't over. Kamala and I know things that people don't know. And we're investigating. We don't know 100% or they're still working on stuff. Um, and I'm happy to be with my kids and my wife. For a little bit. What else, Tim? I don't know why I see him lighting a pipe. Makes I don't know what that means. Like relaxing, maybe. I don't even know. If he, I think, did he say he smoked in the past? Tim, release. Yeah. So, <laughs> look, I'm thinking about the pipe smoke going into the air. So he's trying to move on and, and kind of adjust. But you can see the this deep, serious burn yeah poor guy i love i love tim walls some people thought she should have gotten shapiro but i think she just needed more time um to have a campaign I, somebody had asked if biden if he had left sooner and uh get, it let her be or have them have another primary you know if he had not not announced that he would run again maybe we would go for a different candidate um I don't know. Country isn't ready for a brown-skinned woman or a woman. That's what I'm saying. Um, and all these men. Mimicry. We say that we are, but we're not. Well, okay, let's get to the recount. Well, the or not the recount, but what will be known between now excuse me, and the end of the year. In the past, I've seen the end of the year be dark. There's a line uh, last two weeks, last week of December. It's heavy and dark. Um, hmm. I see a square of, um, like a table, a white table with, it's not a ballot, like a square ballot, but it's a white table. It doesn't have a white tablecloth on it, but it has, um, things they're sorting. They're going to make an announcement. Oh, wow. Okay. They're going to make an announcement about what? Biden doesn't want to. They want to make an announcement that there's inconsistencies. And they're not overwhelming. They're not like 20 million votes are gone or missing. It's other cons inconsistencies. So I think that's why Biden doesn't want to do that. And, and, and we already don't trust the, I mean, because of Trump and the Republicans supporting him, you know, the election's all fraudulent. Um, so a lot of people don't believe it anyway, <clears throat> but they want to put it out on the table. That's what the thing they want to show it off to the public. Um, maybe make things more transparent. I see a white tablecloth. I don't know why that is. Um, but I see that happening before December because it's November. Today's the, what is today? The 16th. My, my grandma would have been a hundred today. She and I, she died a couple of years ago. I miss her all the time. There's something that's going to be put out. They want to be put out. But it's not, I don't know how much it's going to shift, but I do think there's information they want to have come out that will surprise some, but it's not like, wow, oh my God. It's more, oh, okay. Is it about, it's about, it's about a misinformation. It's about um, propaganda. It's like that. They're going to talk about that. They're also going to talk about inconsistency in some locations, I think. Or um, There's lots of checks and balances in those election commission and the ballot counting. I know a lot of people have commented saying that he put in software and you can, you can switch it. 
check it and it'll be good and every, you can prove that it's um, safe over and over and over again. But as soon as they switch something, it'll change the numbers. Is that what it is? I think there was people trying to do that. I, um, the thing is, I had a thought, why would Musk pay people to vote for Trump if he was doing this? That's what I don't understand, unless he was just, you know, covering it up. But I just think, uh, I think the Russians were really heavily involved. Um, Musk talked to them, and I'm sure he said, oh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, grief. I think we all are just super sad. There's grief. And we just want to get over it. So, as of right now, this is our reality. I will keep checking in. I'm going to, in the next videos, I'm going to look at those other raids on Poly Market and Alfie Oaks and Trump's clown card cabinet and his circus and see how that's going. But thanks for coming by, you guys. Till next time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>